please give a very, very warm welcome uh, to the dynamic uh, Matt Humphreys. Yeah. I don't know how to say this to you guys, but fuck birds. <laughs> They're the only animal that I know that can just randomly shit on you. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes you're having a rough day. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get through and things are generally bad, all right? But you wake up and you put on some pants and you're just like, I'm gonna do this. And then you step outside. What does the world have for you? Poop from the sky. <laughs> and you know, like any other animal or human, like if you were to shit on me, you're gonna die. <laughs> like even a person, like if they came and shit on me, I'd be like, that's the line for murder. <laughs> I'm now going to murder. Every time a bird does it, I'm just like, I can't fly. <laughs> People ask me, like, hey Matt, uh, how do you uh, how do you get uh, material to do your comedy? I always tell them, well, it's a few things, but it's mostly whatever hurts my grandma's feelings. <laughs> right there. Um, I've uh, been doing comedy a little while now, and I'm starting to get recognized around town. Uh, there was a guy at a bar that was just like, hey, I know you. And I was just like, oh yeah, I do comedies on uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. And he's just like, no, you're that guy that punched that guy in church. <laughs> so I, uh, I have many skills, guys. <laughs> many skills. <laughs> but uh, I have a question for you. Um, some of you guys will get this. Have you ever seen somebody eat, so, or ever have somebody eat in front of you exactly the same way you do? <laughs> and been like, that is disgusting. <laughs> like, I saw it happen and I understood why I got cut off at a Dairy Queen one time. <laughs> and it made sense. But I eat my feelings, guys. I eat my feelings. Because a loaded baked potato tastes like love. <laughs> it feels like loneliness. <laughs> It tastes like love, guys. But I gotta start making some better decisions in my life. Um, it's just gone too far. Because I realize that life is a fight to the death. You know, I, I made peace with that. Uh, but I don't want to be defeated by a taco. You know? And it, it's also made me hate young people. Like, I see you in the crowd. I also see some of the old ones. Uh, but I hate young people because they can just go about their day and you know go out and party and get drunk and just have a good old time and then wake up and they feel fucking miserable because they didn't listen to those you know high school videos and how they should drink water or whatever and they're just hungover and they gotta get over the last night. I don't really drink that much. I don't party. I definitely don't have good times. <laughs> and I wake up every morning having to get over the last 20 years. <laughs> it's really frustrating, guys. <laughs> One thing I do do to uh, make myself feel better, though, is I do watch football. Yeah. You know, we're in Super Bowl season this uh, this time of year, and uh, the Falcons are in. I'm a Falcons fan. Yeah. Uh, for two reasons, I grew up that way, and the other is uh, me and the quarterback share a name. We're both Matts. <laughs> so when I turn on that sports radio, and I hear Matt scored three touchdowns and threw for a hundred, a hundred something billion yards or something. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I, I'm putting my, play, my myself in those guys' shoes. I scored those touchdowns. I threw those yards, and I have a dad that loves me. <laughs> you know, it just makes me feel good. Uh, I, had a, uh, I had a sports dad, and for, sad for him, he had a kid that played all the sports and were bad at every single one of them. <laughs> I was a kid 
uh, on the football sidelines with two snacks in my hands. <laughs> Cheering on my team, guys. <laughs> yeah, touchdowns all day. And uh, my dad was the furious one on the uh, sidelines there. But uh, occasionally the coach would be like, all right, Matt, time for you to go in. Out in the field. But out in the field where all my, where all my drug and alcohol problems started. <laughs> so I was always a little scared, you know. But I would get out there, and I would try, and I'd get my ass handed to me every time. And uh, my dad would just be on the sidelines just... <laughs> and some other parents just like, hey, Bell, uh, hey, Bell. <laughs> Parent. Hey, uh, I think you're a kid out there that's trying to give the other kid a hug. <laughs> and I would be trying to give him a hug. I would go and find the one like me on the other team. I'd give him a hug. He'd give me a hug because we didn't get those at home. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are just like, Matt, why, why, why such a charming demeanor tonight? <laughs> so happy. It's like, well, I did get dumped recently, guys. Shut up, it's my fault. <laughs> but uh, it is one of those things, though, that I guess, like, girls just aren't under the trend of going out with guys with penises that can be described as adorable. <laughs> Doesn't happen anymore. Uh, ladies, I am on the rebound. <laughs> so if you want to hang out with a guy, that, you know, we'll get some drinks and some food, and I will cry over a girl that isn't you. <laughs> you want to do that? We'll watch some John Cusack movies. After the girl dumps them is when we just turn it off. <laughs> no, no happy ending to that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I have been going to the internet for some internet advice. It's where I get most of my advice, because my father didn't love me. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I went and I clicked on the first article after I typed in and was like, I've been dumped or whatever, and uh, gave me some good advice. It was just like, hey, stay in there. You're not going to feel this way the whole time, all right? It's going to be good. You know, you just got to get through this. Second one was just like, do something empowering, all right? Go work out. Treat yourself right. It's going to be okay. Third one is the one that they told me to remember the most, and they told me to say it in the mirror every single day. And it's true. I am still a princess, guys. <laughs> no matter what happens, I will not let some dude judge my self-worth. 